Good afternoon my friends, it's Krebs here and today we're going to be playing a little bit of World of Tanks. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at the tier 2 Chinese tank, the Vickers Marquee Type B. And following the same format as the previous videos, as I said in the last video, we would be doing a bit of structure, leveling up these Chinese tanks and discussing them as we go through the tiers. In the last episode we were taking a look at the Renault SNC31 and a few of you have actually uh, commented on my video about one particular thing and I'm gonna briefly discuss it. What I said in the last video was this tank is heavier, uh, has less horsepower, but it has a greater maximum speed than its uh, Renault FT counterpart, the uh, French tier 1 tank that's very very similar to. And a few of you were suggesting perhaps that's due to the suspensions, maybe the suspensions were rubberized and that's the reason why. Well, not necessarily the case. If you actually look in the game, the uh, tracks that both the FT and NC31 use is the M2627. It's the exact same track tracks. So, it's not down to the suspensions. The suspensions don't help the actual speed at all. And in fact, I think it's actually just due to game balance, uh, simply put. I mean, how can a heavier tank with less horsepower be have more max speed than another tank that is lighter and has more horsepower? I don't know. I think it's just due down to game balance. Exactly the same suspension. So anyway, let's go take a look at the Vickers Mark E Type B and see what we can discuss about it. So where shall we start? Again, I've got a lot of data to talk about this uh, <laughs> tank. It was originally manufactured by the Vickers company uh, pre-World War II. And it was, uh, the Vickers company was British, uh, British army manufacturer. And originally they were trying to sell this Vickers Mark E to the British army, but it was rejected because of apparently problems with the suspension. It wasn't reliable. And so because they just had this whole design and they didn't want to just give it up, the Vickers company tried to sell it off to other countries and literally every single country out there. And that's how they uh, managed to get many different countries to pick it up, including uh, a variety of European countries, Russia, and even ones to the Far East, including China, which is why this is part of the uh, Chinese tech tree. So here we go. This is the Vickers Mark E Type B. In fact, it looks very, very similar to a Russian tank that we know quite well. If we head on over to the USSR tree, no, that's not the U.S. Archery, that's Chinese tree. USSR tree, it's the T26 over here. You'll notice how that its figure looks almost exactly the same, especially the turret. You can see that it has those handlebars in a way. It looks almost exactly the same. reason is, is because the T26 was essentially developed upon the Vickers Marquis. E, um, and the T26 became one of the most popular, one of the most uh, widely produced tanks of the uh, uh, Soviet Soviet Union. In fact, about 11,000 T26 were produced. So I think it'd be fair to say that we should compare this uh, Tier 2 uh, Vickers Mark E to the Tier 2 USSR T26. So all right, that's what we're going to be comparing the values of today. So let's get a, go ahead and actually go ahead and start that. The Mark E, as I was saying, is the pre pre predecessor of the T26 and so because of that a lot of its values fall short of the T26 even though they're a light tank even though they're at the same tier so the Mark E Type B has 178 health points you can see this all along the right hand side but I'm also going to be listing off the uh, T26 values has 170 health points whereas the T26 has 180 giving the T26 an extra 10. Signal range, exactly the same at 300 meters. You've got speed limit of 35 kilometers per hour on this uh, tank, whereas the T26 is just buffed up by another extra kilometer, so taking it up to 36 kilometers an hour. The Vickers Marquis e is lighter than the T26 by two tons. So, you know, hmm, two tons, that's not that much, but, you know, two tons is still a lot of weight. Uh, so at T26... The T26 has 9.6 tons, whereas this one has 7.34 tons. Alright, crews exactly the same. You've got the commander, who is also the radio operator in this tank. You've got a driver, and you've also got a gunner. You can somehow fit three men into this squashed little space. It looks like there's really not that much space at all, but apparently you can fit men into there. Uh, same with the T26. 
Armor wise, the Vickers Fall is quite short, um, depending which places you're talking about. The hull, for example, on the Vickers has 12 millimeters all around. 12 mil millimeters is literally nothing. In fact, if you look at the Renault, a tier 1 tank has even more uh, hull armor than a tier 2 tank. <laughs> That's kind of uh, hmm, a bit pathetic. And depending where you're actually looking at, and you guys are going to see this in front of your screen, but depending where you're actually looking at, you've even got some values that have 5 or 6 millimeters. I kid you not, I think somebody could punch through 6 millimeters of armor in this uh, in this thing. So 12 millimeters all around. On the turret you have 30 millimeters on the front, so you don't want to try to penetrate that if you're up against it. And then you've got 15 millimeters all the way around on the side and also the back. Whereas the T26 has an extra 3 millimeters on the hull. Uh, you know, three millimeters isn't that much. And its turret is 15 millimeters all the way around on the T26. So I suppose on that front, this one has a better turret armor on the front than the T26. That's kind of pretty much the only good point <laughs> about the armor. Mobility wise, this is uh, less mobi mobile than the T26. Only 100 horsepower in comparison to 130. Traverse speed exactly the same at 52 degrees per second, fire chance 20%, so the fi uh, fire chance 20% a bit higher than the standard 15% that we expect on a lot of tanks, but hey ho, it's an extra 5%. Uh, also, interesting fact if you want to throw it in here, this is diesel operated, whereas T26 is uh, gasoline operated. Could that come into effect of how this uh, thing is operated in terms of mobility, perhaps? Turret range is exactly the same on both tanks, 310 millimeters, or meters. Turret traverse, 46 degrees per second. Armament, this is where the Vickers becomes slightly better than the 226. Damage wise, this is uh, going to be all standard armor piercing rounds. I'm not going to talk about HE rounds because we'll be going through a lot of uh, numbers and I don't want to be crunching too many numbers in one video. So. Uh, this is armor piercing rounds, 45 damage, HP damage per armor piercing shell with the Vickers, whereas 40 for the T26, that's an extra boost of 5 HP per round. Penetration on the Vickers, 49 millimeters, 58 millimeters on the T26. So again, it's tier 2 and this is a... This is a kind of a little bit of a complaint I have in my other videos. Whenever you're playing in lower tier matches, it sort of evens out the battlefield. Uh, between the experienced and the lower experienced players, fair enough. A high experience, a more experienced players can kill pubs very, very easily because they know the tactics and what to do, blah, blah, blah. But uh, armor values are almost non-existent. You know, if you have something that has 49 millimeters of penetration, what's the point of having 15 millimeters of armor? Oh, okay. I suppose it's more so to protect against gunfire, but okay. Historically speaking, uh, damage per minute, uh, the Vickers has 1,093 damage per minute, HP per minute, whereas the T26 has 1,043. So, essentially almost the same. The Vickers has, uh, has the upper hand by about 50 HP per minute. Rate of fire on this thing, 24.3 rounds per minute, whereas the T26 has 26.09 rounds per minute. It's all just down to the fact that this has slightly more damage per round. It might be a bit slower at firing than the T26, but it has more damage per round. Reload time, 2.47 seconds. T26, 2.30 seconds. Aiming on this is worse than the T26. It has 0 0.48 uh, meters dispersion, okay? 0 0.48 is terabad. Absolutely terabad. You shouldn't be even trying to snipe in this tank because it's so bad. T26 has 0 0.39, aim time at 2.30 seconds for uh, all of them. Rounds, about 160, 140, essentially the same sort of thing. Camel values, 16%, uh, and whilst firing, whilst in motion, the Vickers is lower than the T26. So that is, that is a lot of values to throw at you. I hope that came out in a good sequential order and you were able to absorb it. I think we're at the period where we can quickly see what this guy is saying. Hello, I'm a little unstable and how well, okay, that's a totally relevant thing at the moment. What we'll do is go into an actual battle and see what this tank is like. Okay, and so we got a tier 
three freaking matchup on Ensk right now. Apparently a 36% chance of winning. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, this will be fun. Not. I don't know. Hopefully it will be good. Um, what's actually quite nice about these videos, and I'm not bragging or anything, but what's quite nice about these videos is actually is that I'm laying out actual numbers for you guys and statistics about these tanks. I think what's quite good about that is now you can actually factually see if a tank is more superior than others, rather than oh, this tank feels like it's worse than that tank, or this tank feels like it's better than that tank because it can penetrate it all the time. Now you can actually factually see that yes, indeed, one tank is better than the next. Oh my god, we got a massive Chiha right beside me. That's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So 36% chance of winning. Where am I going to be going? Uh, you know what? I think it's going to be a good idea if I stick behind this Chiha over here. You can see his quite large silhouette. And what I'm going to do is just poke out from behind him and try to get some shots off uh, from behind his gigantic body or even this T-46 I mean these tier 3 tanks even though they're just one tier above seems like they make such a big difference here Let's try to shoot this BT-7 no as you can see very big da uh, accuracy range very very big chi hot no idea what he's doing you know you might be tier 3 but come on you're not you're not invincible. I don't know how the hell I hit that guy. Oh, let's get back. Let's get back. He's T46. Mind you, that's not a T26, but, you know, still gonna be a tier higher than me. Gotta be careful of him. And already, we've got one... We've killed <laughs> one guy on their team. We've lost three. You can already see how some of these kills are coming about, can't you? few of our guys dying. Oh no, this Panzer 38T is going to be going down. We need some reinforcements. We need him stat. I'm worried about this guy here. Maybe I can take a shot if this guy comes out. T-46 maybe? Yes! Indeed! Fell for the trap, didn't he? Fell for it. He fell for it. I just want to protect this Panzer 38T because I know once he was shot on him, he's gone. No, come on, man. You're being way too frontal. You're being way too frontal. Oh. Hello? Looks like that one went right through. You can see those similarities in the tanks, can't you? Oh, oh dear! <laughs> you pop around the corner and say hello to the uh, entire Chinese army. Uh-oh. Hans 38T, I'm sorry, I let you down. Enemy armor is hit. No! You're still alive? Enemy is hit. Wow! Wow, this Panzer 38T has got some will to survive, doesn't he? But he's gonna get killed here if he doesn't be careful. Maybe I can come around the side. Ah, oh, that's rather unfortunate. I thought his uh, killing spree would maybe go on to f go on a little bit longer than that. Okay, I'm just worried about this uh, Martyr 2 over here because he's got quite a powerful gun. Wow! <laughs> uh oh, so apparently somebody right behind me didn't even see that he was there. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear me, this is looking like a massive uh, or orgy of sorts around here. Damage him. Move on to the next one. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Come on, help me out, cruiser. Okay, he might have some time to reload because he's got an auto loader. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Gotta help now take out this Panzer 38T. Come on, one more shot. Yes! Woohoo! No! <laughs> it couldn't go on forever. Oh, that was brilliant. Getting five kills though. Wow, that was, uh, that got quite intense, to, uh, say the least. So, I think if there's anything to, to, uh, take a note of this tank, you should use it more of a, a shotgun tactic. You should try to get close to your enemies and un unleash that way, rather than trying to snipe. Remember, 0.48 accuracy? No. No point in sniping. No point in sniping at all. Uh... 
has uh, higher than average damage in comparison to the T26, yeah, yeah, that's what you should be trying to do, not snipe. So unfortunately, uh, couldn't have turned that around completely. We still got three tanks left out on the field, but I think that pretty much summarizes the the uh, show. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys the end stats and how much credits and such I've earned from this game. Right here we go, 3, 2, 1.